hi my name is keith and welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you the simplest way to secure your wordpress from being hacked so this video is suitable for everyone if you're a blogger if you're a beginner in blogging if you're a beginner in wordpress and you're worried about the security of your website then this video is for you so i'll try my best to explain as simple as possible for you to understand but i will not go into the details explaining uh, what is involved how things happen and so on so i'll probably make another video on how to secure a website at server level uh go some database stuff coding stuff and so on but for today we're going to use a simple plugin to secure our website the easy way and for free so before i get started with the easy way of securing a website i want you to know this that depending on the host type you're using okay some hosting providers do provide uh, web security features for free so you might not want to watch this video because maybe they are already there so if you're not sure about that you can just ask uh, your hosting provider and ask if they do provide those features okay some they do provide some they can be for free some they can be uh, having to pay a subscription or and so on so this video is part of the playlist called how to start a profitable blog that generates money for you 24 7. so this playlist has got more than 30 videos to help you start a money generating website so you should check it out everything is there so today we're going to focus on securing our websites to prevent it, it from being hacked or from being from losing your information on your website so if that again we are going to use to secure our wordpress website is first of all before i show you that here, here is the website we're going to um uh, we're going to secure so this is rains.me is my agency website i created where i provide marketing services uh speed optimization services security web posting web design and the rest okay so so this is the website i'm going to secure so i'm going to go to the admin panel so the first thing you have to do now is go to this uh, search box over here and type in defender so we're going to install defender by wpm dev okay it's a good free uh, wordpress uh plugin to secure your website and the good part is that most of its features are free okay so um, uh, i think the paid features uh, is just firewall to prevent website from ddos attacks also known as ddos yeah okay we'll talk about that later on okay so i have installed and i have activated the plugin so the th first thing you have to do is we're going to scroll down in the menu bar and click on defender okay so you're going to be presented with a screen like this before i continue let me say something so based on what web uh, what your wordpress website the server is running the procedure is going to be different so if your wordpress is on a uh, nginx server i uh, going to have to do some uh, coding stuff here but you have to log into your server using ssh paste some codes and so on so if you are not familiar with that then you can just hire me and i'll do that for you but if your website you're using right speed or apache and so on this is going to be straightforward but otherwise you can still do it if you don't really know how to do that so if you watch all the videos by playlist you're going to know everything and you're not going to have any problems with this so let's continue so i'm going to click on activate and configure okay so okay so the setup is complete i'm just going to click on finish okay so once you activate this plugin it's going to activate some of these features automatically 
so we're going to do we're going to continue doing what it has not yet done so simply click on recommendations and the same what this thing is recommending us to do okay unfortunately my phone is shaking very much okay should be stable now okay so these are the recommendations we are told okay so when you go to the action we are going to see the action steps this plugin does so this plugin has disabled our rxml rpc okay you can you read about it understand why it has done that okay so our wordpress is already updated to the latest version so you're always recommended to always update your wordpress to the latest version it has done that already or we already did that so hide error reporting so if in case something goes wrong on a website wordpress can show errors to your visitors but we do not want to show errors because if this feature is enabled to show errors uh hackers may gain access because they will know what's happening and how to do stuff and so on so updates php to the latest version i'm currently using uh 7.4 yeah it's the latest php uh i'm currently using although php 8 is now there so this is already enabled change the default admin user account okay so i do not have an admin account which has got a username called admin so if you have an if you are an admin of your wordpress site and the username is admin you should definitely change it because uh these are the type of usernames uh these bots and hackers target to so update all security keys so my security keys are less than 51 days old so it's okay so you can update them to 60 days or 30 it's up to you so manage login duration so my login duration is set to seven days so after seven days you will be required to log in again and so on then track bugs and ping bugs these are also good again they are bad so you can read more about it if you would like to understand better so prevent user enumeration this is one of the common methods of bots for hackers to gain access to the website to find that login usernames to brute force them so you can read more about this so as for me it has already done the, the job so we'll now go to the recommendations and see what we need to do so uh, when you come over here when you click on recommendation you're told that we need to do three more things to complete our security optimization so we are told you have to disable the file editor so the file editor for example when you go to plugins plugins editor or when you go to appearance then you go to theme editor you'll be able to edit your themes files but when we disable this we will no longer be able to edit our themes for example if you'd like to uh, edit your uh, functions.php and so on so i'm going to disable this because if someone gains access to your wordpress site you'll be able to uh, edit your WordPress files without having to log into your main server. So I'm going to click on Disable File Editor. Okay, Security Recommendations Successfully Resolved. So we're remaining with two uh, recommendations. And we're told to... Okay, so the other one is Prevent Information Disclosure. Okay, so this is the this is what i was talking about that depending on what type of server you're using some of the things you are, you're going to have to do them manually for example if you're using jinx you have to add this code manually by logging into your server and so on so as for me i'm using like speed so it can do automatic even apache can do automatic so all i'm going to do is just going to click on update ht access so what does this do this will prevent some sensitive files uh, to appear in our website and so on. So I'm going to click on update ht access file. Okay, so we're told that the security recommendation has been successfully resolved. So the next thing we have to do is prevent PHP execution. Okay. You can read more about it in the same plugin 
So what I'm going to do now again simply going to click on update the htaccess file and done. So we have resolved all our recommendations I guess. Okay. So let me try to reload the page and see if there is more. Okay. So it looks like okay i've clicked on the update hd access file but i wonder why it's still showing me one recommendations okay anyways now that we are done with this let's go on to other stuff so let's go to more wear scannings the other good advantage i like about more wear scannings is that it will scan all your wordpress files and see if there is malicious code okay so the file change detection so the other uh file scanning capabilities of, of this plugin requires a subscription it's a pro feature so to, for that you need to uh what's this buy this with, and so on so for today we're going to skip this but if you've got money you can go on and get the pro features and go but for now we're going to continue with the free features for now so from this we're going to go to audit logging so audit logging here this plugin can as well uh, show you what has been happening the background okay and it's also a premium feature so definitely have to upgrade to use this feature as well so skip it and go to firewall it's firewall free of course as well let's find out okay so our firewall is also free okay so it will be able to to work for free so you can also ban some ips if you know some bad ips which are trying to hack your website you can burn them by pasting them here you can also see some logs so when you click on the logs you'll be able to see uh some IP addresses and what they were trying to access then you can even burn them for good so from here let's go to WAF so WAF is a good feature so some hosting providers do provide this service for free so if you don't use this service and the hosting provider does not support that you can buy the pro feature of this plugin the other thing is 2FA if we don't know what this is this is two-factor authentication this is where by like when you log in when you put your email and password for you to log in successfully you need to enter the code sent via sms or your email for now i won't activate this feature so i'm going to skip it you can also use something like google authentication and so on but for now i'll skip it so let's go in tools what's in tools so when you click on the tools so the first thing you're going to see is mask login area okay so let me just show you what this means so i am going to open an incognito browser so all wordpress file all wordpress websites yeah so all wordpress files you can log in by going to wp okay wp no, like just visit the website then just search to wp admin so when you click enter you're going to be presented with this screen so all wordpress websites this is the default login page they have so from here you can enter the username and login so the good part about this plugin is that if someone was to know your passwords or if you're that person who writes passwords in notebooks in text files and so on if someone was to find out your password you can simply go to your website enter your username and your password and login but what i'm going to show you is we are going to edit the default login url for your website so that in case someone was to find out your password you would not be able to log in because it does not know where to log in from so we're going to change this so to do this we're going to do this i'm going to click on activate so going to wait for it to load okay that's finished loading 
okay so well i'm going to change this so this is the default login address so when someone visits this website um i want i'm going to redirect them to the main url of the website so that they shouldn't see this login page so i'm going to redirect choose the direct page i'm going to redirect them to okay i'm just going to select a page where i would like people to be redirected to okay so i'm going to redirect them to the main home page and i'm going to click on save changes okay now that i've saved the changes let me just uh page o okay so let's go to our incognito tab and refresh this page let's say i'm a hacker and i want to have the login details and I have to log into someone's website okay so before we do that uh, i have to first add in the new um url so i'm going to set it to something more unique like keith wp okay and i'm going to click on save changes okay so to now log into my website i need to access this slug so let's see me, let me show you what i'm trying to say okay so when someone wants to visit the website for example clicks the default admin url for the website and clicks enter they'll be redirected to the main uh, page so now i the owner how do i log into my website if it's redirecting me to this so this is the reason why i have set the new url slide so i'm going to copy it i've cut it so i'm going to control plus c to copy and i'm going to come over here and i'm going to put a slash and i'm going to paste in what i just copied and click enter okay so this is my new uh wordpress admin login url so only i myself and you who is watching knows about this so i'll probably change this after i finish the video so that they don't hack me okay so let's continue so what's the next step the next step is is to add in some security headers so i won't explain about this i'm just going to go on and activate and i want to activate and i'm going to activate if you don't do that anymore there are a lot of videos on youtube to teach you all this stuff i'm going to activate this as well i'm going to activate this and the last one i'm going to activate and i'm going to click on save changes okay so when you are done with this the other thing or the other feature of this plugin is here when you come over the notification page so you'll be able to see what has been happening some recommendations and everything else uh, but some of these features you need a pro subscription and so on so yeah it's really worth it you should definitely check out check it out it's not really that expensive yeah by the way i am not an affiliate if i was i would have probably included the link in the description so you can go on and buy it but if you'd like to support me there's a donation link in the uh wordpress oh in the youtube video description you can check it out there okay so we are done with securing our website for most common attacks so this should be able to prevent your website to yeah should be able to prevent your website from being hacked yeah so we have done almost 90 percent of how to secure a wordpress website so if you have any other questions feel free to comment i read and reply to all comments within an hour if you enjoyed or learned something from this video then give it a like if you'd like to keep on receiving this type of videos then go on and subscribe and turn on all notifications i'll see you in the next video tomorrow bye for now